Hi, I'm Karen with Nietzsche Handmade, and today I'm going to explain how the Icon Art system allows you to create reusable silkscreen stencils and try to give you an idea of why you do the different steps that you do when creating the stencils. If you can understand why the Icon Art stencils work the way that they do when you create them, then I believe that less mistakes will be made when creating the stencil. So there's three fundamentals to creating an Icon Art stencil. So you have your exposure unit. Um, this is one of the original exposure units, so yours may look different if you have the newer model. You also have your um, transparency sheets. So I have a laser printer, and so I use the laser sheets. You may have the inkjet which are look a little different, they're clear, but they serve the same purpose. And then you have your stencil film. So this is the true Icon Art product between the exposure unit, the stencil material, and the transparency sheets. So this is the really, really small mesh with the blue stuff on it. How this works is when you turn this light on, anything that the light touches, is gonna get hard. So initially, this blue stuff that's on here is kind of soft. If I were to take it over to my sink right now, it would completely wash away. But anytime when I turn this light on, it hardens anywhere the light touches, and that is how you create your stencil, stencil which is why it's so important to have dark artwork so that you block the light from hitting the stencil and anywhere that the light is blocked is what's going to wash out during washout. So the first thing I need to do when I'm creating my new stencil is to print my artwork. I'm going to go ahead and print my image from Silhouette Studio. Um, this is just the program I'm used to using, but I know what settings I have to have my printer at in order to get the darkest image and remember whatever is blocked out by your image is what's going to wash out so that's why it's so important to have a dark image so I'll go ahead and print that Here I have my finished printed image on my laser um, transparency film and this is what I'm going to use on top of my blue stencil sheet and anywhere that you see black is not going to let the UV light go through and that the rest of it where it's clear is what's going to get hard and stay and create my stencil. First of all, there's no reason for me to use a full stencil sheet um, because my image is smaller than that. So what I'm going to do is shave off these four inches over here so I can use those for another stencil later. So I just have a paper cutter from the craft store that I'm going to take off four inches. and put this back in my bag to use for another time. And I have my stencil sheet. The rough side is facing up. With my laser printed image, I'm going to touch the printed side with the blue film so that they get really good contact. Because again, whatever the light touches is going to get hard. So if I want something to wash out, I need to make sure that the light doesn't touch it. That's why a black image is important. And that's why rubbing it down like this is important. So we make sure there's no air bubbles. And that's just the plastic sheet that came in the bag of um, stencil film. So get it on there. Make sure it's rubbed down real good. Okay. Now I'm gonna expose my film. Turn that on. And wait for my timer to go down. Now I'm doing 33 seconds. 
because it's thin lines and because it's on the laser paper, um, hoping that just a couple seconds less makes sure that the light does not penetrate through the black parts of my design and keeps those lines nice and crisp for washout. We have just a few seconds to go here. And then we will wash out our stencil. For washing out, um, I have just my basement utility sink. It's pretty uh, covered in paint, so please excuse the mess, but I use this uh, sprayer head that I purchased off of Amazon. It was a two pack, not a lot of money, definitely worth it. So that way I can have better water pressure uh, for spraying out whenever I do washouts. So I just have this little um, plastic bin that I use filled it with some lukewarm water uh, to let my stencil soak before I start washing out to help make wash out a little bit easier. So I'll stick it in there for a little bit, usually around like 30 seconds or so, just until the image starts to appear. And this just kind of starts to loosen up that emulsion uh, the blue stuff that's on there that is going to wash out. And the reason that the, um, the places that are going to wash out is where the light was blocked from the icon art UV light. So I can already see my image. Um, uh, let's see if you can see it there. I can see my image some. Um, so that means it's going to be ready to start being washed out. So I'm going to attach it to my icon art clipboard and use like slightly cold water. Um, I try not to use too hot of water so that I don't wash out, wash off the adhesive on the back. And this just seems to be like what works for me. And then I make sure that my sprayer is on the most powerful setting.
stencil is all washed out and dry. I'm going to re-expose it under the UV light. And what this is going to do is uh, finish hardening all of the blue parts of my stencil. And that just makes sure that the stencil lasts longer. So this is what we refer to as post-exposure. Whenever you hear someone say post-exposure stencil, um, it's this process right here where you leave it under the light for about three minutes or more. If you leave it under, it doesn't hurt anything. All this is doing is further hardening the blue parts of your stencil. And that is how you create a custom reusable silkscreen stencil with the Icon Art system and why it's necessary to do the different steps in the creation process.